When planning a ski trip, there are a large number of resorts to choose from. When thinking of ski resorts, most immediately imagine the Alps in Europe or the majestic mountains in Canada and USA. However, there are many places in the world where you can ski which few people have heard of. These include exotic places like Africa, Greenland and Hawaii. So if you're getting bored of mainstream ski resorts and need inspiration, here are the top 10 most unusual places to ski in the world. Afriski Lesotho Located in southern Africa, Lesotho may not be the first place that comes to mind when thinking of ski resorts. Chances are you've probably never heard of Lesotho. This tiny kingdom within the borders of South Africa actually has a great little skiing spot named Afri Ski. Based in the Maluti Mountains, 3000 meters above sea level, there are just two slopes, but what it lacks in volume, it makes up for by being one of a kind. The remote feel and uncrowded slopes will appeal to adventure seekers. Here, you can go on safari one day and ski the day after. It also has the only snow sports park in Africa, which is pretty cool. The resort is only open from June to August. Mauna Kea, Hawaii That's right, you can ski in Hawaii, more precisely on Mauna Kea, which translates as White Mountain. Although it's not a resort with lifts, shops or restaurants, many extreme skiers still enjoy the 100 square miles of skiable terrain. To get to the top of the mountain, take an off-road vehicle on the roads which serve the observatories near the summit. To get the full experience, you probably need a friend who can drive you up and back down again to pick you up. On the plus side, you don't have to pay for a lift ticket when skiing in Hawaii. The mountain is 4,200 meters tall and will usually receive snow between December and February. Although there may not be enough facilities for a complete ski holiday, it's an interesting example of how resort facilities aren't always needed for people to enjoy skiing. Golmarg, India This place is nothing like your typical ski resort. Located in the Kashmar province, Golmarg is fast becoming an open secret among hardcore skiers around the world. The resort is serviced by a giant gondola taking adventures from 2,700 meters above sea level to a mammoth 4,000 meters. This is higher than most Canadian, US or European resorts and is not for the faint-hearted. Most of the skiable area is ungroomed and unmarked. It's expert only terrain so foreigners tend to go with guide companies. From the top, you have 7 kilometers of extreme wild terrain. This area is extremely avalanche prone, so you should only go with an experienced guide. Those who have skied here say it's one of the wildest and most epic skiing trips they've experienced. Solbakken, Greenland Greenland is not known for having mountains, but a lot of snow. Despite the name, Greenland has more white landscape than green, and it's the third largest ice cap in the world. Many adventurers come to Greenland every year to try dog sledding, cross-country skiing, and snowmobiling, but few know that you can go alpine skiing as well. Located outside Sissimut in the southwestern part of Greenland, you will find the largest ski resort in the country with two lifts and a total of 650 meters of downhill skiing. If Greenland isn't on your bucket list yet, it's time to add it. Trudos Cyprus if you tell people you're going on holiday to Cyprus, they'll think you're heading for the beach. However, the impressive Trudos mountain range offers the unique opportunity to ski in the only ski resort of the country. From December to February, this area reaches almost 2,000 meters in altitude and can receive up to 2.5 meters of snow, which is quite impressive for Europe's most southerly ski destination. The total 4 kilometers of slopes are served by 4 lifts, so it's a fairly large resort considering its location. Copenhill, Denmark Denmark is probably one of the flattest countries in Europe, but the Danes love to go skiing. Often, they go on ski holiday to other countries, but a few years ago, the government decided to build an award-winning artificial ski slope on top of an energy power plant in Copenhagen. Located just a few minutes from the city centre, this unique ski park offers all the thrills of hitting the slopes, with the added convenience of being located right in the heart of the city. How cool is that? It features a massive 850 meter long ski slope, making it the longest artificial ski slope in the world. The slope is designed to accommodate skiers and snowboarders of all skill levels, so whether you're a beginner or an expert, you'll find something to suit your needs. And for those looking for a more relaxed experience, there's a cozy ski lounge at the top where you can sit by the fireplace and warm up with a hot chocolate. Tasmania, Australia Australia has tons of ski resorts, and the country down under has produced many winter sports world athletes. However, few people know that Australia's most southern island state seduces with groomed slopes and scenic summit runs from July to September. 
Tasmania is known for surfing and sandy beaches, but the ski resort inside Ben Lomond National Park provides tourists with 7 lifts and 6 kilometers of runs. The altitude reaches 1,500 meters, which isn't a lot. However, snow cannons are used to keep the piece skiable. One cool fact is the wild wombats and red-necked wallabies who regularly visit the resort during the winter months. That's quite cute and exotic. Orchimedon, Morocco Morocco, home to sweeping deserts and historic sites such as the Medina of Marrakesh, is not often associated with skiing. Although the country is not famous for snow sports, surprisingly, there has been a long practice of skiing in the country's high Atlas mountain region. Located only 80 kilometers from Marrakesh, Orkhamedan is Africa's highest ski resort, reaching 3,000 meters and offers up to 10 kilometers of runs. There are great skiing conditions and plenty of snow most of the season from December through to March. Not bad. Once you remember that, you're actually in subtropical Africa. Not many can say they've skied in North Africa. Mount Olympus, Greece Okay, at this point you've witnessed ski resorts in both North and South Africa, so it probably won't come as a surprise that Greece isn't just a tzatziki and island hopping. This country has 24 ski resorts, and the largest is the Parnassus Ski Centre with 36 kilometers of runs. However, the most unique and perhaps most famous is located at the feet of the gods on Mount Olympus. It's not a large resort, but Mount Olympus Ski Resort is visited by many Greeks and Cypriots every year who enjoy the 2 kilometers of historic runs. There are only 4 lifts in the tiny resort, and the runs are mostly beginner and intermediate, but the scenery is incredible. Ski Dubai Center, Dubai being one of the largest indoor ski areas in the world, Ski Dubai offers winter sports fans the chance to ski in the desert. It opened in November 2005, and although it's indoors, Ski Dubai has a functioning chairlift, 5 full ski runs and a freestyle zone for experts to practice their tricks. This also includes the world's first indoor black run. If you don't feel like skiing, you can also visit the Penguin Petting Zoo or try the toboggan runs. It's pretty absurd to put on your ski clothes while in a desert, but if you're spending a few days in Dubai, we definitely recommend you try out Ski Dubai. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and got some inspiration for your next skiing trip. If you liked the video and want to see more content from us in the future, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe.